Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. I know we're looking mad crazy right now, but we're gonna get it all together. But we're about to install this unit. I just washed my hair, so I was letting it like dry a little bit. So that's why she's looking the way that she is. But um, I'm gonna go ahead. I was supposed to do some meal braids, but my mom did not have time to do it for me. And don't ask me why I'm brushing my hair with the fucking fine to comb that's what we're doing that's how i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go in with my cap I wanted my hair to be flat, especially since I don't have any braids on. So I wanted it to be as flat as possible. So that's why I put on the cap. But normally, you guys, you guys, if you guys watch my wig videos before, you guys know that I really do not care. Whole um, ponytail, still looking crazy, but. I already plucked this wig. Um, it was it. I could say it was tad bit pre-plucked a little bit, but not really. So, um, I'm going to go in with the Ruby Kisses, if you guys didn't know. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on there. But one thing I have to say about this um, lace, it is more so on the darker side. As you guys can see, it's like a um, brown lace, which is perfect for me because I'm a brown girl. But um, if you are like much more lighter than me or in the light spe lighter spectrum, then I would suggest you don't. This lace will not work for you because it is pretty dark. Okay, like I said, like she's gonna blend perfectly. Like, you guys see that? Like, bro, okay. And let's take this out of her face real quick. And now we're gonna go ahead and cut off our ear tabs. Like this don't happen too often. We're pretty secure and again we are going to be using the um olive oil i'm not sure if you guys watch um like maybe one or two hair videos ago i did use this and when i tell you guys i freaking love this like i love this so um that's what we're gonna use to install our hair and then to like seal everything together we're gonna use the um tresemme spray when we do like the final closing so Okay, so I want to see where I want to put it. I don't want to put it too far, but I don't want to put it too close. Um, okay, so we're going to start with the middle section. And I tried putting it on top. You can do that, but I don't like the fact that it makes the hair a little bit too, um, um, how can you say it? It's a little bit too hard, so I am going to do it like underneath. And what I really like about this is that it doesn't um it doesn't spray everywhere. Like it literally stays where it needs to stay. Back to me how it feels when I throw it back. 
Okay, yeah, this lace is blending perfectly. All right, you guys, so don't be like me. I kind of accidentally went in and actually nicked myself a little bit because I did change it to, like, a sharper one, so be careful. As you guys can see, like, she's bleeding. Um, tie everything down. She's looking pretty good. I wanted to take as much lace off as possible because I didn't want... I wanted to look very natural and not have those little white residue. Ugh, stay up. Um, okay, you guys, so I already, I went in, I went around my perimeters and just tap a little bit of the Tresemme also, and then I mix a little bit with the olive oil spray and the, in my perimeters to try to get rid of the little white residue. So that's what I did. Um, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and just spray some water on this. Now, as you guys, like I told you guys, I am gonna do a, um, a ponytail with this. So... I want to get this as wet as possible so it's a little bit more easier for me to like you know do yeah so it stayed on for as long as it needs to she's looking pretty secure I don't know how it's coming off on camera we're gonna keep the baby hairs a little bit minimal because I don't want like my baby hairs to be doing a lot so I'm just gonna go ahead and do two two baby hairs on each side so in total just I'm just gonna quickly do like four baby hairs nothing too serious but I am gonna Make them pretty big and dramatic. I don't want them to be too too long the shorter you make them the natural they look the longer you do them the less natural they look and I'm about to use my ew, pencil um, curler and I'm kind of excited that I got this one because this one is way like smaller than the one that I had before so I'm able to get a little bit more further in and it's gonna give me a much more of a curl so um, I really love this I recommend it this is I got this from Amazon it's and it's by the company red by kiss I um, mean, this is the pencil um, flat iron. Um, I'll link it down below if anybody is interested in this, but I really do like this. But this does get pretty hot, so be careful. We're gonna be using the gods to be. Yes, you can use foam with this, but honestly, I'm just gonna go in with the gods to be. Okay. Actually, gonna go like this. Like I said, these are gonna be a little bit more so on the dramatic side. I'm gonna do them, let it swim this way. Okay, these might be a little bit too long for my liking, but let's see what we can do. Time, thinking of things that we did, you did 
Okay, this is how we're looking like. I didn't want them to look too perfect. I literally just wanted them to look, you know, a little bit out of place. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and just did the other side of the baby hairs. Like I said, they're kind of dramatic, but not really. They're kind of normal-ass baby hairs to be. Some quick little, um... For some reason, y'all, I've been kind of obsessed with, like, leaving little, you know, um... Things on the front, so uh, let me see if I can, if I like... Gonna take them by section by section. Actually, let me go ahead and put my hair down. Okay, so I think I kind of want to keep it like a puff because it will hide the back a little bit better. Okay, so I kind of want the front to be a tad bit more sleeker so I'm gonna go in with some foam I don't really like this foam but I bought it so I kind of gotta finish using it Okay, so as you guys can see, by me just doing that, it made it so much more sleeker looking. So I am going to see if I can find like a shoestring instead of this so I can go ahead and, you know, put it up. Because I, if I use this, it's going to be a little bit more harder for me to put this whole hair through it. And it's just going to make it harder and then I might mess up this part. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can just... Um, if I can just go ahead and fix that. All right, so my mom literally just used a um, a shoe tie, but now I'm debating if I want to leave it like this or if I want to do like a messy bun. And of course, I'm gonna bobby pin the back also, just so it don't move. Yeah, it still has the um, the thing to tuck it in, but I just want to make sure it's like extra extra secure so that's what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna do and then um let me go ahead and cut some of these off because again like i said i i literally wanted them to not really show but just be there So this is how we're looking like. It's just a cute bun bun. Um, I might put it down if I'm in the mood. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, I am going to do my makeup later tonight. So I am going to do my makeup when I am done. Just to, you know, close everything out. Let me actually take a little bit right here out. And then, boom. Like I said, I'm going to come back whenever we're done. And then we're going to wrap up this whole um, mini tutorial all right you guys so we are back um this is actually the next day because i did not end up doing my makeup yesterday because i was not in the mood to do my makeup but um we finished um and this is how the hair turned out now it might look a little bit crazy because i did sleep on it yeah something on my nose i did sleep on it and everything so it might look a tad bit crazy on the camera but i actually want it to look a little bit 
like less perfect and more so on like the messy side um especially when it comes to the back i really want it to look messy and like scrumbled up and everything just so everything could lay down who are they getting anyways um <laughs> but yeah like i wanted it to be like pretty messy now i did go in and i actually added some bobby pins in the back um and just just to um not secure it but like keep it flat in a sense especially when it comes to like you know you moving and stuff like that i'm gonna turn around so you guys can see so i can see what y'all see um that's how she's looking like it's probably looking bad crazy but um, I'm not going to leave this on for too long and also I'm not going to be doing a lot of like, you know, movements and stuff with the back of my head. So, um, yeah, but this is how she looked like. I really love the way that this style turned out. Um, but keep a look out. The, um, it is curly hair, so it does shed, but this hair did shed, um, a good amount. So keep in mind with that when it comes to this hair. But, um, I don't really mind because I was putting, I put this in a bun because that was the style I was going for anyway. So, um, I'm not going to have no reason for me to be taking it down and like putting water and all this extra stuff in it. So it's not really going to bother me, but if it bothers you, keep that in mind. But this is how she turned out. Like I, like this hair texture it was perfect for this um type of um style because it was like pretty kinky it wasn't too too curly but let me know what you guys think about this style in the comments down below let me know if you guys like it because honestly i'm really messing with it i might leave this in for a couple of days because she is given and i want to see how long the um uh what did i use the olive oil wig grip thing lasts honestly so excuse me um in the next hair tutorial i'll tell you guys hopefully i remember i'll tell you guys how long it lasted because i do go to the gym so we're gonna see how that actually works out but again this hair was from beauty forever hair um i've worked with them numerous of times they have really bomb curly hair but um yeah all the all the information and details about this unit will be linked in the description bar down below alongside with any type of discount code that they provide for you guys so you guys can go ahead and save some coins off your order but um yeah let me know what you guys think about this style in the comments and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye